Today we're going to talk about a very simple circuit. So a lot of people try to learn electronics and they just jump in and then they get confused because there's all kinds of things going on. You need, you need to start electronics at super, super basic levels. Um, at least part of the time, you need to go take a look at the fundamentals. Just what is exactly going on and do I understand it? Do I really know what's going to happen? If I see something, can I predict it? And, and uh, we're just going to look at a really, really simple circuit. We're going to have an in and out. You could call this an RC circuit. You could call this a low pass filter. Um, it's just, in our situation, it's just going to be two components. And we're going to look at the input and the output on an oscilloscope. So uh, let me show you what a setup's going to look like. OK, here's our, uh, our, our R. Here's our C. It's going to be one of these capacitors that we can flip in and out. And so we can adjust it. All right, so that's what we're going to be taking a look at. So let's take a look at the, uh, at the oscilloscope. Uh, we have a square wave coming in, so that's the input. OK, and then let's turn on channel 2 and look at the output. Here's channel 2. Uh, so we can see there is a, you'd say a roll off or it's killing some high frequencies or something like that. It, it's uh, modifying the edge of our square wave, right? Okay. Um, so on the oscilloscope, this is the minimum, the minimum uh, capacitance in our circuit. All right. Let's do a ref and we'll do a save to ref. All right. So it's going to remember this one. I'm going to introduce some capacitance now. And as I introduce capacitance, oh, we didn't save the right ref. We saved, <laughs> we saved the input ref, not the output ref. So I we'll have to go back to ref. Channel 2. I want to save channel 2. Save that to ref. There we go. All right. Now when I change the, uh, change the capacitor, you can see our curve is changing, right? So here's minimum capacitance and here's maximum capacitance. And so uh, you can see that the, the, the shape of the curve is sort of changing, right? And so you need to kind of get a gut feel for the shape of that, um, of that capacitor. And we can go from, from that to that. So if you are generating sharp edges and then you see them roll off like this, you say, ah, there must be some capacitance someplace in the circuit. And I need to get rid of that capacitance because I know that when I have more capacitance, it, it rolls, it rolls things off. And that's what this is called roll off. It rolls it off. Um, now something that you might, so maybe, maybe you have, maybe you've come this far and you say, okay, I understand that. You know, what's he talking about? I, I understand that. Right. Well, I'm going to change. I'm not going to change anything. All I'm going to do is change the shape of the input. All right. So I'm going to change the input from a square wave to a sine wave. All right. And I'm going to do a, a new reference, save reference. All right. Okay. And now you say, okay, well, you know, what's going on here other than my scope's not triggering correctly. All right, let's go back and save that reference again. Oops. All right. Um, so you can say, well, okay, it's delaying it. Okay, well, yeah, an RC circuit can delay things too. So um, it just seems like it's delaying it. So why, why was it rolling off edges in the other picture? And why is it now doing a delay in this picture, you know? Do I understand that? Do I understand why it looks this way? Well, let's change the capacitor and see what, see what happens. Well, well, look at that. It's, it is, you could say it's delaying the waveform. You could say it's phase shifting the waveform. You go, oh, it's a phase shift. Oh, I see, it's a phase shift. And wait a minute, it started out at full amplitude, but as I introduce some capacitance, the the peak to peak voltage has gone down. Do I understand that? Like, wh why do I get two different things? Why do I get a phase shift? Why do I get a, a, a peak to peak or peak to peak voltage change? Do I understand all those things? And is this what I would have predicted if I didn't see it first? Would I have predicted this behavior? Right. 
And you need to get to a point where you go, okay, yep, yep, sure enough, this is what I predict. Um, now, when you start out in electronics, you're not going to be able to have a good gut feel for all of this stuff. But if you play with this circuit, let's say you take one day and all you do is play with an RC circuit. It doesn't matter what kind of fancy oscilloscope you have. You can have a $50 oscilloscope. You can have a $1,000 oscilloscope. It doesn't matter. These are audio waveforms. These are... Uh, you know, I think this is 100 kilohertz, but you could do it at a kilohertz. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, but you get the idea of what do these shapes do? How, how do they change? Um, I'm only varying the uh, capacitor right now. What if I vary that resistor? What happens if I vary that resistor? What if I have a leaky capacitor? What if I put a resistor across that capacitor? What does that look like? You could spend all day looking at an RC circuit and you will learn things. I guarantee it. You will learn things. Um, and so anyway, the point of today is uh, you can always start someplace. Simple two components, R and a C. Um, one of the reasons that oscilloscopes are valuable learning tools is because you can see these things with your own eyes. You can read about them in textbooks, um, but until you actually play with one, I don't think you get a good sense of what's going on. So anyway, short video for the day.